Helldivers, we have insane news to cover. And the Automaton Jetpack Brigade, yeah, it's finally happening. New leaks, fan-made war bonds. This gets me excited for the future of Helldivers 2. So grab a hot cup of liberty and let's dive right into the video. To start off with, we are going to take a look at a leak, an exchange system leaked by Iron Sights. This is a droid that will allow you to purchase items. There was speculation to what it could be. Apparently, the Hellbot can still be used as a NPC teammate, supposedly. I'm saying supposedly because we haven't had any more recent confirmation or news on this yet. The Hellbot can still fight in game but this may be scrapped. However, the new leak suggests it also is going to be almost like a vendor. Iron Sights, new Hellbot functions. The Hellbot has three shop sections, general, premium cosmetics, rare stratagems. You can sell items to the Hellbot for requisition slips. The value of items are controlled by an index system. Now, there was a post from the developers a couple of days ago, which went into something similar, basically giving us more currencies and wanting us to have more things to do regarding progression, I believe. So I suppose this currency the developers are referring to and this leak will be used to purchase items from the Hellbot. Something similar to how No Man's Sky operates. They have a vendor where you can get special items for completing tasks. If you played that game, you know what I'm talking about. So you could potentially see a new currency enter the game with this Hellbot. So maybe completing special events or missions would give you some sort of different currency to use for particular items. If it's weapon skins, armor sets, this currency we can use could potentially give us a reward and those rewards could be endless. I mean, it could be literally anything. One important thing to note from Iron Sight's post is that he mentions this. You can sell items to the Hellbot in return, you get requisition slips. This will make progression so, so, and it'll be so much better. And also to the people who complained about the stratagems being locked behind war bonds, this will make the war bonds easier to unlock overall, since we would have more ways to earn requisition slips. Do you think this is a good idea? Drop a comment and let me know. Personally, for progression, I think it would be an awesome idea. So who knows what this will bring officially, but I do know one thing. If I see this Hellbot on the battlefield, I am going to offer him a nice hot cup of liberty. Because I'm a nice, dedicated democracy man. And that's what us democracy men do. Moving on to another leak from Iron Sights. Yes, he just keeps throwing these out there. He's the true legend of democracy to Iron Sights. Keep doing your thing, okay? Keep doing your thing. Platoon news. Yes, this is what the leak is about. Clan systems to do with the democracy station, potentially. More platoon information. Clan announcements. Clan events. Clan chat rooms. Clan votes for user. Clan news. Clan flag. You may be able to join multiple clans. It's supported. Now, the question is, are these clans made by us Helldivers or are these clans implemented by the developers themselves? Okay, that's the question we've got to ask. If it is made by us, I'd love to see the Chaos Divers, Loyalists of Super Earth. Me, me, okay, me. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm a Loyalist of Super Earth, okay? I'm a Loyalist of Super Earth and all the others in game, as well as many more potentially. One thing I never understood was, the Chaos Divers main goal was to tarnish the game to basically make a point to the developers, and that point's been made, yet they're still here. I, I don't get it. Either way, I love the roleplay. There was talk some time ago about stratagems being locked behind clans. Not sure if this is still true, but I think it's not a bad idea. It will give us Helldivers more reason to think about what clan we're going to join, if it affects the type of stratagems we could potentially unlock. Switching things up, there was rumours, okay, rumours going around of Arrowhead changing to Unreal Engine 5, as there was a job application that emerged recently. Just to let you guys know though, it's been debunked, okay, so it is not happening. I think the game being ran on a more up-to-date engine would solve pretty much about 80% of the performance problems that people are having at the moment. But in reality, it's like starting all over again, so it would never happen. B Vitamin states this here, it would more or less evolve starting developing the game again from the ground up, 
You can't just change engines, it's the foundation that everything else is built on top of. Moving an entire live service game after its release to another engine is basically impossible and if it was possible, would be so resource intensive to never be worth it. So yes, you have it right there. They are not moving engines, okay, to clear this up. I was just thinking though about the optimization and the frames, it would be awesome and I could actually utilize my 4070 properly. Either way, the game is really well optimized now and has came so far since the beginning of release. So yes, it's fine how it is at the moment. Drop a comment and tell me, is the game performing well for you? And if so, what platform do you play on? Me, PC nerd. Okay, have you figured yet, uh, PC nerd. Now progression, we can now see Arrowhead moving towards more in-game content as well as progression from the leaks and what the developers have teased. It won't be long before we see more progressional based elements being introduced into the game. Referring back to the Hellbot, I think having special missions and events to complete in order to receive items or a different currency would definitely make progression 10 times better, making the grind more worthwhile. And if I'm honest with you, it would top the icing on the cake for me. A game needs progression because eventually players will become bored. It's okay having new enemies and weapons, etc. But really, varied missions, a better overall progression system would keep players grinding, grinding and grinding for such a long time and you know, there'd be nothing to complain about because me personally, I would love more missions and just progression being worked on overall. On to the fan-made war bond, Gravitational Liberty includes three armor sets, Prototype 20, Prototype 25, Prototype 28, there's a new passive anti-gravity material, grants a small health slash speed boost when moving through gravity altered areas, EMS field, vortex grenades, etc. Then there's three weapons, the GR-03 Singularity Rifle, the GR-25 Singularity Shotgun, and then there's the EM-54 EMS Grenade Pistol, a Vortex Grenade which is probably like a black hole grenade, there's a player title Singularity Operative, and then a new booster Gravity Resistance, enhances resistance to knockbacks slash ragdoll effects which we could all use because you know the ragdoll is here there and everywhere, and environmental gravitational anomalies fan edit by you slash ling dong guitar i interrupt this video to say if you're enjoying the content be sure to subscribe for managed democracy and you will supply a mexican hell diver free housing support on super earth he may have crossed the super earth border illegally but He's a hard-working Mexican hell diver, so, you know, he needs your support, okay? He needs your support. I think this is a sick concept. That's why I thought it'd be worth including in this video. I did say some time ago, I'd love to see some sort of gravitational war bond, you know, some sort of anti-gravity grenade, or maybe some black hole that opens up and just, you know, sucks in all the bots. And you know what, if that ever existed, Man, that'd be awesome. I could imagine just throwing that and all the bugs just being sucked up, right? And then, yeah, that'd be awesome. I think this type of war bond would be so amazing for the Illuminates, as I just mentioned. And if so, it would be made most likely to counter the Illuminates. We have obviously seen new projectiles leaked, which obviously I'm not going to go over in this video, but that obviously shows us that Arrowhead are working on some new weapons for us for when the Illuminate do eventually come. Whoever made this though, it's legit really, really awesome. I mean, the detail of these are insane, guys. What do you think of this new war bond concept? Let me know in the comments for managed democracy because managed democracy, you know, it straight up matters, okay? It straight up matters. And if you disagree with me, then the democracy officer will be in touch with you for treason. <laughs> Lastly, the major order, okay? What is going on inside of Helldivers 2 today? Because there is a new enemy that's hit the front lines on the bots front. Some are suggesting this could be linked to the Iron Legion, but either way, Arrowhead definitely have something up their sleeves for Liberty Day. I mean, I cannot wait. Halloween is literally coming up as well. So as you can see, we completed the major order. If you want to give this a read, you can pause the video because we are going to jump straight to the important part. That's what you want to see, and that's what I want to see. Emergency alert. Automaton warships have appeared in massive numbers in the atmosphere of Matar Bay, if that's how you say it, Matar Bay. Multiple Seath bases have already 
fallen. Reports indicate the presence of an augmented automaton detachment leading the invasion equipped with jetpack technology. This detachment will be referred to as the Jets Brigade in all communications. Now I don't know if this is linked to the Iron Legion, however in the last major order they did mention about the new alloy metal plating that they was using for their armour for the Automaton Legion. I mean this could be a complete set of different bots but from the looks of things, they have some sort of relation. Intel indicates that the automatons have discovered the existence of the Democracy Space Station project, and this invasion is a brute force attempt to discover its location or that of its supporting substations. If the Jets Brigade is not stopped, the logistics hub, the Deep Mantle Forge complex, or the Democracy Space Station itself could be jeopardized. That's what it was, the Mantle Forge complex in the last major order referred to the armor plating for the bots and the automaton legion yeah i mean it could be somewhat intertwined but none of us really know yet but again they do look very similar to what we've seen scattered around the planets previously you know the ones that are kind of like chromatic i showed it on the last video so yes hell divers go and do your part okay protect that planet and we can get this democracy space station finally built by liberty day because i personally think it's going to be finished by then and we will probably have a massive big surprise as well whether that be the illuminate the Iron Legion or something much much major. Of course these variants aren't all out yet, the ones I'm showing on screen currently, but you can see some shiny chromatic type bots on this planet here if you play. However, it's not the Iron Legion officially, but I guess another set of bots. This could be the start of Arrowhead pumping more content out, hinting at new enemies, and eventually we could see the bots evolve, and then the Iron Legion come our way. I am so grateful for everyone who made it up until this point. You Helldivers are legends. So until next time, go and conquer the galaxy for managed democracy and I will see you in the next one.